coffee. A lot of coffee. <laughs> a lot of different sweets. Have a little walk. A lot of water. Coffee machine and snack machine is your best friend here. And Coca-Cola, of course. <laughs> the question is why you stay wake up until 5 in the morning. So this is my driving force. First, first of all, passion for my work. The ESRF is one of only four high-energy synchrotrons in the world. As our name suggests, we are the European Synchrotron Radiation Facility. We mostly produce X-rays running 24 hours around the clock, used and visited by thousands of researchers from all over the world. We are investigating a photosensor protein. So we have a 24-hour shift today and uh, we brought 120 crystals with us that we want to measure with X-ray to collect the data set. I expect um, that we need the whole 24 hours to measure all of them, so we will not sleep. I came here because uh, you cannot do this kind of experiment in laboratory and synchrotron facilities in Europe are not everywhere. And so we are going here to uh, study why the color is changing on paintings, what are the chemical reactions. So this afternoon we are going to study a series of fragments taken by the painting screen by Mick. We have about 8,000 scientists coming every year to the ESRF from all sorts of fields physics, chemistry, biology. Basically the structure of this uh, electrode here. Some gas absorption on metal organic framework. Material science, nanoscience. Liquid crystal phases. Metalloproteins by X-ray absorption and emission spectroscopy. Museums bringing precious artifacts. We have paleontologists. So it can be a lot of people here. So now it's half, half past seven. When did we start with this project? After lunch. After lunch. So it, um, I think it took us now five hours to measure one data set. We have 90 crystals left and we will check them crystal after crystal. How long will that take? Till tomorrow morning, <laughs> 9 a.m. Here and I, we are the night shift. Uh, we are working here from uh, 7 o'clock in the evening to 8 o'clock in the morning. Beam time is expensive and rare. So we use every minute we can and we watch every uh, step the machine does. So we are here just to check that the robot is working and is moving, then we can go on. So here we can we'll see if the robot is changing sample. See? So what are you looking for? No, Wait, it didn't work. <laughs> I think I have to go inside and check. See this cable? Here. I don't know, I, I, what okay, time okay. is it? It's too late to call him. It's quarter past 11. We will lose the night. OK. What to do? Tomorrow morning. You guys are still here. You too. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> What's been happening? What happened? So we are very happy we could measure another data set for a mutant where we had no data set before. Yeah, yeah. So, and now we are going on checking the next crystal. So. I am uh, Peter Stein Jansen. I'm from the Technical University of Denmark, from the, uh, it's called, uh, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> I forgot our name, I'm too tired. <laughs> I got up at 6.30 yesterday, technically. We are quite tired, but also we are kind of riding on a high of success. Because I'm tired, but uh, the, the data are uh, interesting, so. If every now and then there is something which is exciting, you know, you're again on. Now I cut this one, it was horrible. 
this is the worst timing to, to speak no? because I'm tired. So. So yesterday night we had a problem, so this morning I called the engineer, we fixed this problem, so now we are just here waiting for seeing if it's working. Okay, you see the arm moving? Okay, so it's working. <laughs> I'm quite relieved now, so experiment uh, can start again. Yay. Well, um, the crew that work here before us, the team, uh, they just left a couple hours ago. And now we are here and working on probably completely different projects. And now we have 24 hours of beam time. 